Everybody into the back. <laughs> More room on this side. Over here, hopefully. Yeah, you guys I know I take up a lot of camera area. <laughs> oh, I get a microphone and everything? Oh, you don't want to do this. I'll start doing karaoke. <laughs> okay. You all are interested? Come on over here. We can maybe do a couple tours because it's a little crowded. But I'll start right here. And what we have is uh, this is the air compressor, and this is for the door and the brakes. This right here, this flat gray box, is actually for the battery management system. Okay, so the batteries, there's 14 of them in here. They weigh about 100 pounds a piece. And they like to operate at the same temperature that you guys probably like to operate, about 72 degrees. So we actually have a heater, we actually have a radiator to keep them cool in an air conditioning system. So the air conditioner is right over here, the air conditioner compressor. The heater is basically operates like a tankless water heater. So as the batteries, uh, you know, as the outside temperature is sensitive, it basically sends, and you'll see as we look at the battery pack, you'll see orange wires in, inside the cage. And you'll see some black lines. The black lines are basically the fluids. If you see orange on an electric school bus, don't touch it. Because there won't be much left of you to you do. It's basically the high voltage fire, right? This is a 600 volt system, so it's, it's uh, you know, pretty intense. So, coming around here to the bus, we have the power steering pump right here, and we have the radiator. There's only two fluids on this bus. It's an all-electric vehicle, okay? So the air conditioning is operates electric, the heater operates electric, everything's electric. And again, there's only two fluids, the, the power steering and the radiator. And the radiator operates on 50% light bulb, 50% water. Inside this box, it's a standard blue bus battery box. There's only one 12 volt battery that operates all the other stuff that's on the bus, the lights and everything else. When you recharge the main battery pack, the 600 volt system, it also recharges that particular battery. So, any questions on the back part of the bus? Everybody's holding the questions until we get to the batteries? All right. Oh, yeah, this thing right here. <laughs> this is the 500 pound motor. It's got a high density winding that gives it the, the same performance basically is the Cummins diesel that you guys have out there now. If you look at the spec sheet, it's all in nanometers or newton meters. It essentially, again, operates uh, the same as a diesel um, diesel bus, or a diesel, diesel engine in the same bus. So this is it. You'll also notice that the direct drive motor, the reason they call it direct drive, there's no transmission between here and the differential. All we have is a drive shaft. So when you drive the bus, you have to really make sure because there's no transmission in it. You have to be very, you know, you have to make sure that your, your footwork is good as a driver to the drivers for taking the bus. It's all about driving training. So, again, standard Uber bus. Now let's go take a look at the battery pack. So, there's actually two of them. Yeah, it does have a general braking. General braking at about 2 to 5 percent. So, if you come on this side, you can actually see the orange wires that you're not supposed to touch, and the black hoses that you can, but you still don't want to stick your finger in there. You'll see these are the battery disconnects right here on the battery pack. There's, uh, two, there's two actual battery packs, one in the front, one in the rear. If one battery pack of seven, because there's seven units per pack goes down, the bus can still operate with uh, the seven packs that are in the other, other battery pack. Again, there's a total, this is actually a production unit, or the production unit will actually have 160 kilowatts, which again, will give you a range of up to 120 miles. The warranty on the batteries is uh, five years. You can buy an extension, an extended warranty to, for two more years. But the batteries aren't like um, CNG tanks, where they have an expiration date. What they do is you actually just lose, um, you know, basically lose basket batteries. So after seven, eight years, 
after you go through the 3,000 cycles that the batteries are warranted, you may, instead of having up to 120 mile range, you may have up to 70, 80, 90, 100, depending on how much you charge them. So you don't have to replace the batteries necessarily in seven years. You could replace them in 10 if you can live at a lower range. Anybody have any questions? Yes, sir. What happens if one of the batteries fail? Does it trip to the other batteries? Yeah, there, well, there's a battery management system. So if one of the batteries or a module inside the battery fails, the battery management system levels out the charge across everything else to make sure that the motor has. So what you do is you just lose a little range until you replace that unit. What you see here with all the uh, cutouts in the bus, that's actually not going to be what production looks like. Production is going to be pretty solid with some drain holes, so you're not going to have to worry about snow packing in there and everything else. Again, this is a prototype vehicle. Cost to replace the batteries is uh, probably about seven thousand dollars a battery at this point. But, but the batteries are going to go down quite a bit. They've already gone down quite a bit. So, so to change all the batteries, I think seven thousand. That's about yeah, it's about uh, hundred thousand dollars. Well, here's the thing: two years ago, it was two hundred thousand dollars for the batteries. <laughs> so the, the the cost of the batteries is going down, and it, and it's going to continue. Um, as adoption, especially adoption in medium and heavy duty, goes up, we're going to see a lot more batteries come out. And uh, that, you know, obviously you guys know as, as more comes out, it's going to drive the price of the batteries. What type of batteries are they? These are called, uh, these are from a company called Exalt out of Michigan. Okay, the No, these are nickel manganese cobalt. And it's the, uh, basically it's the most rugged chemistry, the most dense chemistry out there. Ed, any questions? All right. Any questions for anybody? No solar panel. <laughs> it would actually only add just a few miles. Uh, but believe me, a lot of people are talking about how we can make that happen on the vehicle itself. So if you had, uh, if you had about uh, ten panels, I think it would. Uh, it would help this charge is going to This, this, this like bus could probably go over quite a any other questions? The overall weight of the bus? Um, that motor back there, the direct drive motor, is about 600 pounds. The Cummins engine that would normally be there is about 1,200. There's also no transmission, no diesel tank with you know 700 gallons or 700 pounds of fuel in it. So when you look at the weight of the batteries, it's so much more than the diesel, but you offset it, it's pretty much a wash as far as the weight's concerned. Electricity. Yeah, everything's electric on the bus. The uh, the electric compressor runs off the 12 volt. Oh, how much does it cost for a full charge? Um, <laughs> what does it say? He said I don't know. <laughs> Okay, hang on just a second. Uh, it's about, if it's 10 cents per kilowatt, and these battery packs are 160 kilowatts, it's, what, $16, $16. But really, we hold some back, so it's really about $13 to charge the whole pack. And that's that's a 10 cents a kilowatt, which may not, if you do it in an off-peak hour, may be less than that. Cheap, or not cheap, inexpensive. <laughs> yes, sir. The electric heat takes away about uh, 15 to 20 percent. Air conditioning takes away about 5 to 10 percent. The cost of the replacement on the motor, hang on just a second. Probably thirty, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I don't know what there is. If you give me your card, though, I can get that answer for you.
That's exactly what I'm about. Let me go move these cones. motor right there. Nice. There's the cockpit and it's actually on and it's quiet. It is on. It's on, yeah. <laughs> Isn't this amazing, though? Fucking thing. Quiet. It's quick, man. I could imagine. Yeah, it's a single ride. You got a feeling for it. Take right. it out for a ride. All right, no problem. You're picking up your bus, right? No, no, I actually came with a bus just oh, really? to come to the event. Yeah. Oh, because I got a bus for you guys ready. Oh, you have a bus ready? I see, yeah. All right, so I'll come back for it. Well, not today. Probably Should tomorrow. I call Colleen? Because she says she wants to send somebody down. I don't know if she is. All right, so speak to Colleen. Yeah, let me find out. I mean, no rush. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm, yeah. you know, just because I did tell her I'll have it for her. Okay. Me email her. Get together. Okay, ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the 6.8 liter diesel engine. I'm sorry, guys. The electric. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you're gonna hear is air compressors and the AC. But as you hear, the bus is running. Wow. So we can actually talk in the bus without screaming. You'll be able to hear it from the huh? All the children whispering to each other. Yeah. For the New York City operators, I don't know. You're gonna hear the kids screaming. The brakes are squealing. It's like an oversized golf, co golf cart. Five miles an hour. Okay. Why? That's what the blueprint decided to do. Now, if you're in New York State, you're not allowed to go five stars. Yeah, I guess if you're in the country, you want to go seven to five because the high goes to seven to five. Yeah, but it's like 70 miles an hour. That's what I'm saying. Well, New Jersey Turnpike, we're in New York dealer, so. Yeah, I'm 